Hello beautiful creatures, welcome to my channel. I am Aradia the Witch of Dark Light and I hope you all are doing well. This is an intro to a video I want to share with you that I shared with over on my Patreon about a year ago. It is activating a Venus Pinnacle. And the pinnacle is from, um, it's a, one of Solomon's pinnacles. And it's from the Magical Books of Solomon, The Greater and Lesser Keys. Um, so if you want to know more about that, um, check this book out. Um, it goes, it's The Greater and Lesser Keys. So the pinnacles that um, I will be working with is the planetary uh, pinnacles and specifically this one is for Venus and I walk you through how to activate each of these pinnacles to work with them um, going forward in your magic. Now if you are interested um, I have a PDF that you'll see um, in the video. I have um, a pack 44 I believe it's 44 um, and it's of the seven classical planets and um, each planet has maybe four or five um, different pinnacles that go with that planet and you work with them in different ways according to the attributes of what that planet um, is. Uh, so if you are interested, go over to my website to check that out. You can purchase those. I'm not sure how much it is. I think it's about $10. But um, I will have all of that information in the description of this video. But I just wanted to make this quick intro because I wanted to share with you something that I thought was um, uh, good to know. And this is something that is also within my uh, Practical Magic course. Um, and originally when I created that course, it was, it, I put it down for, I created the course for so much more money, but that was because it was going to entail all of these other elements, uh, me, um, personal time, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, time with me, working with me with, uh, some of the things in the course and you know a, a birth chart reading but i decided to just uh create the course where it's more affordable and just uh, goes over the basics of um, a lot of things that people are interested in when you first come into the craft so if you want to go over and take a look at that and support me <laughs> um i will put that information in the description of the video. I'm not sure I have it. Um, the course is available on Udemy. However, the price fluctuates. So um, if you are interested, the link that I will put in the description um, is for the uh, price $12.99. So um, go over and check that out. Um, and also I will have the link to where you can purchase this book at. Without further ado, here's a video of me um, taking you through step-by-step step how to activate the pinnacle of Venus. Hello, beautiful creatures. So here I am going to show you um, me activating my pinnacle of Venus, the third pinnacle of Venus. And here I have the things, if you look on the PDF of the supplies, that are on that list. Um, I have four crystals. I put four clear crystal cords, but if you don't have that, use what you are guided to use. Um, here I have a smoky clear quartz, <coughs> excuse me, a jade, which is green, and I have a clear quartz here and another smoky um, quartz. So that's what I'll be using. And here I have a green taper candle. And here I have um, my tea light candle that I will be setting on. 
going to show you here. This is the, uh, the camera went dark. This is the Pinnacle. I know I was going to print out a smaller version, but I'm just going to use this one. This one is fine. And if I want to uh, activate another one, another sigil, the same uh, Pinnacle of Venus, I can print out a smaller one and do it at, on a Friday as well. So I have that and you're going to sit it in front of the, the plate here or whatever it is, the heat safe plate that you are using. You're going to sit it here and here's your pinnacle of Venus. And we're going to put the, the uh, tea light candle on the paper. And um, I have here the incantation that we're going to say. What I'm going to do, I have my glasses so that I can read it because I wanted to set the tone for you guys. Um, but what I'm going to do here is, um, I've been working with mugwort um, these days. So, I'm going to light a little mugwort activating and setting the tone preparing the energy sit that there you want to just take a deep breath and I'll put my glasses on and we're going to set this uh, the candle get it ready to set up in this uh, on the plate now if you have a um, something that the candle can sit in so that uh, you won't have to heat the bottom of the candle up um, that's fine too you can sit it in that and then sit it on the plate so you could do that as well so now that we have the crystals aligned in the four just uh, in four directions you're ready to read the incantation. As I light this candle, I call upon the energies of the four corners of the earth, north, south, east, and west. Charge this sigil with the elements, earth, fire, air, and water. Now you're going to light your tea light candle. I call upon the Archangel Haniel to bless this sigil with your celestial power. O Haniel, O Haniel, O Haniel. With these words that I have chanted, the power of the sigil has been granted. Now when you do this, you want to just sit and meditate, thinking about the sigil and its purpose. It's all about Venus. So here we, it's all, we know it's about love, um, but it's also about attracting respect, um, honoring who you are, yourself, um, you know, loving yourself. So these are the things you're thinking about as you are sitting and thinking about this activation taking place, sitting and feeling the energies of the Archangel coming in and lending their celestial power to um, activating this sigil. And you want to take deep breaths because breathing is important. You want to breathe in and exhale. You're feeling the energy come in and the sigil being ignited.
and with this the activation is done so you want to take some time out and you can sit with your candle um, and just speak to it and uh, just speak those things that the pentacle of Venus represents what it's for take some time and to stare into the pentacle the sigil um, as it's uh, being activated and uh, yeah just feel the energies and you can use this sigil whenever you feel like you need to manifest any of these things so uh, you can just periodically when you you know if you feel like this is something that you need more in your life that you need more um, self-respect need to um, learn to love yourself and put yourself first and let others see you in this way you can um, take a candle uh, you can take a green candle you can take a pink candle or you can take a white candle and just sit with this sigil and meditate um, you can use this uh, tea light candle and it's already activated so every time you go to use it it is just charging it and manifesting that intention of the sigil more so I hope um, this helps you guys if you, if you have any questions uh, please let me know and um, this is the same thing for the last month the sigil of mercury this is the same way that you go about activating all of these uh, sigils they are sigils and pentacles of um, the planets so the next month I will also be giving another one and you can put these in your book of shadows save these because you you are activating them and you are going to be using them um, um, again you know because they're activated have a blessed night and um, enjoy your sigil